Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q101. Brian and Kenzie on Q101. Well, if you want shady, this is what I'll give you. A little bit of weed mixed with some hard liquor. Some pack, I thought I'd jump start my heart quicker than the shock. When I get shocked at the hospital by the doctor. When I'm not cooperating. When I'm rocking the table while he's operating. Hey! You waited this long to stop debating. Cause I'm back, I'm on the brag and ovulating. I know that you got a job, Miss Cheney. But your husband's heart problem's complicating. So the FCC won't let me be. Or let me be me. So let me see. They try to shut me down on MTV. Okay, let's go. It is Friday, and we're going to get you four hours closer to the weekend. Looks like a pretty beautiful start. It's going to get actually warmer as the day goes on. So give us that proof of life check in 312 591 8300. Case, you back there? Proof of life? Hello, hello, hello. Kenzie, proof of life? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. All else? right, did my job. All right. <laughs> Brian, proof of life. Brian, I, I be here. I'm looking. This is a crazy weekend because, like, a lot of times lately, I've been trying to enjoy these just weekends with no plan and then kind of make it as they go. But this is that super planned out weekend tonight. Maggie Rogers at the House of Blues. It's Megan. Ooh, my, la la. My wife's like favorite, one of her favorite artists, going to the House of Blues. And who are you hanging out with there? Case Low. Uh huh. That's Case Low back there. <laughs> <laughs> we found out yesterday. You're going to the show too? Yeah, Brian and I are hanging out with our girls tonight at the House of Blues. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. I was like, nice. I didn't get the invite. I don't, well, <laughs> big, group back, big group outing for the morning show. No one told me. Um, you, you made are, it sound like it was going to be a you and Megan date night. I Well, I wasn't aware that Case Low was going to come along fully until a little bit ago. <laughs> Now, the reason I'm calling him Case Law uh, is... I know. We got, the, we got the, <laughs> the message from Case yesterday. Interesting message off the air with Case, as you guys know him as Case, the producer, for the last four and a half years or whatever, that... Look out, he's going to slit your throat. He just said that. <laughs> but, but he, he Look might, out, Brian. <laughs> he, he might prefer being called Case Lowe, his name, on the air. I go, but you're the producer. Right. He goes, well, I know, but I don't want to be Case, the producer. He didn't, yeah. I guess he didn't want that to be his official name. Yeah. And Permanently. Now, and he might be holding a grudge over not hearing uh, that Case Low is on the show. I would rather just, I don't need my last name. I oh. would rather people just call me Case. Oh. Nope. What's your middle name again? Scott. We're going to call you Case Scott Low <laughs> every time we introduce you. What a serial killer's name. I know. Case Scott Low was found with seven bodies in the backyard. Well, he has three names and three syllables. Well, they're going to be our two bodies because we can call him Case the <laughs> producer. <That's right. laughs> Brian and Kenzie in the morning. And Chicago's alternative all day. Q101. Brian and Kenzie on Q101. Time for a fact that makes your brain go. This one kind of nice with all the reports came out earlier in the week about, hey, inflation ain't really going down. Things are getting more expensive still. And the biggest thing we all hit, I know this, is when you go to the grocery store and you see that bill after you just grab like six things and it's $54 or whatever. You know what I mean? It sucks. Ugh. How often do you go to the grocery store, Kenzie? Um, I do grocery pickups Oh. So I, I order everything, and then I drive and go get it. So how often do you think you do that? Once a week. Just once a week? Once a week, we pick up groceries. I make a whole list. Mm. Uh, I'm very organized, with, like meal prepping for lunches and dinners and everything. So I make a very detailed list of everything we need. So there's a hack here that will save you $26 every time you go to the grocery store. Okay, so I'm gonna. it's not a coupon. Like buy less food? No, it's, it, well, it's not a coupon. I'll tell you what you have to theft? do. It's not theft, because <laughs> I know Case Low over here. He uh, <laughs> he goes to the grocery store every day. Almost, yeah. So when I, why? I, wait, put a pin in that. Yeah. Why are you at the grocery store every day? I just like it there. Why are you there? Well, I live within walking distance, so why like buy a bunch of stuff when I can just go back every day and hang out? Because then you don't have to go back every day. <laughs> yeah. He's very European. That's what the Europeans do. They buy their food like they're going to eat that day. Yeah. That's all they do. They don't. Yeah, get... he's very farm to table as he's buying another <laughs> bag of chips and a Mountain Dew. Yeah. I am very European. I don't like ice on my drinks either. Oh, why? You like warm drinks? I do. I, I hate I, warm drinks. I didn't know Europeans like that. Yeah, they don't like ice. 
You huh. and my baby with the warm drinks. Gross. <laughs> Where's that milk at? Uh, I don't have to get case for his birthday now. The one of those baby bottle warmers for, for his, his Mountain, Mountain Dew. Dew? <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> so you can heat it I up. Don't, I don't like it piping hot. I just like it room Do temperature. Do you think we're giving babies piping hot beverages? <laughs> well, well, hey, blow on that milk first. <laughs> Ste- here's your steaming hot beverage. Into my <laughs> okay, so this will save you $26 every time you go to the grocery store. It's not a special coupon. It's just a special hack that I don't know if you're going to get this one. At 630, we'll give it to you. The Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q101. The Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q101. All right, 6.30, time for that fact that makes your brain go. Said it will save you $26 every time you go to the grocery store if you do this. And it's not a special coupon download. It's not going to a certain grocery store that might have a better deal. All it is is don't go to the grocery store on an empty stomach. Eat before you go. That's all it is because they've calculated this. And every time you go per trip, it's $26 more if you're hungry. Or if, if Can you, like, vouch for that? Because you go to Costco hungry, which, I mean, that's got to be a lot more than $26 because you buy a year's worth. Now, this is the joy of Costco. Mm. They give you free samples there. So sometimes you can satisfy your hunger for a little bit with the free sample ladies. Oh, you, know you walk I mean? around and eat all this stuff. Is there, have you ever turned down a sample at Costco? Has there ever been something that you're like, not that? It, it, yes, and then they then I feel bad for them, and they look at you like, you don't want mine? What's wrong with What's wrong with What's wrong with my muffin? I, I just, I'm not feeling that muffin. I'm a not feeling it. A girl said to you, what's wrong with my muffin? <laughs> That's, right. Is that good? That's right. Yeah, it's an old lady, though. <laughs> They're not, there's no, it's not like a strip club there in Costco with the sample ladies. It's still an awkward conversation <laughs> out of all the food you could have picked. Yeah, there was one guy I remember that was really working. He was holding his arms up. Come on! No one wants this to a sample. <laughs> what, what was it? It was actually um, a sample of a smoothie. Oh, I want to drink a smoothie. It, but it it's looked, refreshing. I, yeah, I don't know. It, and the guy was just like, the only time I walked right past one is this guy was giving out samples of V8. I'm like, that's I'm okay. Yeah, I'm good. That's fine. You feel bad Looks for that look person. Warm. Yeah. <laughs> I see your little cart next to you. I don't need warm tomato juice today yeah. for free. Yeah, this guy wanted to go to him like, man, get it together, bro. It's okay. You know, I don't know if they get paid on bonuses if they give out more. I don't know how it works. Oh, um, because maybe, maybe they get... or or if people buy the product. Yeah. Maybe get a nickel. They, they got, man, they be <laughs> slaying in those toaster ovens. They, they remind me of an adult Easy Bake situation going on over there. They have the little convention things that heat up. They're trying to cut small yeah. pieces. <laughs> very I'm like, but I've been there. I feel you. you Got to wait for the stupid light bulb to make it. It's a tough day. Yeah, but I will tell you at the same time, going to Costco, impulse buys are huge, and I will. I'll go in there to spend, get two items. Like today, I'm going to go. I need egg whites. I need milk, organic milk. I need gas. I'll get out front because gas is ridiculous now. I'll get that. And I know I'm going to walk out of there spending $200 somehow. Oh, for sure. Because last time I went, I got a whole new Tupperware system. Like, Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a again. nutcracker. I needed fruit. I, <laughs> I was just here to return something. Uh, well, buy one, get one. I know. So obviously. And then I had to go home. It was all glass. And I'm like, well, it's better for my family. I should obviously do this. Yeah. So then I had to go home. This is the worst. When you commit to something like this, it's not a project. So I have to go home, get rid of all my other Tupperware, find ways to recycle it, wash all these in the dishwasher. Yeah. I'm like, okay, I just committed to seven hours of work. Yeah, I think this number's low. I think if like you go there on an empty stomach or whatever, like buying that kind of stuff. Like I said, Case goes every day, and he says, I don't know what I'm going to get for lunch today. Calzone, he goes to the Jewel right by his house. And Do you then- get lunch from Julasco every day? Kind of. Don't be embarrassed by it. Be proud. Well, Man. I mean, you're, you're European. Food, food has to come from somewhere. It might as well come from Jewel. Why? Okay, two things. We have a Whole Foods that is an actual, not even two minute walk from the station. Uh huh. And they have like a really good like hot bar of food. I love their pizza. Yes. So you could do that. And we're also really close to Mariano's, which is practically a restaurant. So why are you going to Jewel every day to get your food? Because I'm not hungry here. I'm hungry once I get home, and I don't have those options in Uptown. I just have the Jewel. He and then yeah. on Sundays, I go to Target, the Lord's Day. <laughs> why do you go to Target? You go to Target for food? Well, I go to Target to kind of hang out on Sunday. They don't have a hot bar or anything. <laughs> well, no, but they have a Pizza Hut in the Target. And as oh, I said... Oh, you have an old school Target. There's still a Pizza Hut in yours? Yeah, there's a Pizza Hut, and it is dynamite. What is it, Target for the 90s? What is going on? <laughs> I haven't seen know, a Pizza Hut at Target in forever. There's more than you think. 
in Target's Pizza Hut. No. Yeah, yeah, there's one in the one in Lincoln Park on Clyburn as a Pizza Hut. Now I only see the Starbucks and I see the Target Cafe kind of casually, but that's been faded out. I haven't even seen a Target Cafe. What they yeah, do? Yeah, they do like they, where you can get like slushies yeah, and stuff like that. You're exactly right. I grew up in the Target Cafe. That Period. was my favorite restaurant as a kid. And now they're becoming more of a walk by, kind of like how the airport is versus like a cafe. Yeah. Like in a lot of new Targets, it was kind of, it's like vending like cold machines almost. Yeah. So they have that, and then they have the Starbies, okay? Yeah. But that's about it. I'll tell you, the Uptown Target, where he's talking about, is like the Wild West on Friday nights. It is people coming in there wasted. From all walks of life. All walks of life. And first off, you got to kind of do a perp walk to get in there because <laughs> the people out front are almost guarding it by the bus stop there. Yeah, I, and, I would agree with that statement. Like, I've got you got to do prison rules, like no eye contact. Keep going. And then they're going to talk to you. Just it's keep like moving. walking after Riot Fest. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is. And then you get in there, and then it's like, you know, people just, their stuff thrown, getting thrown on the floor. And they're grabbing like 18 things to eat because it's a pretty good target for food. They got like a, a whole grocery store in that they, one. They, they do. And then the problem is you get your food. And then by the time you're walking to check out, you have to walk by the baseball card section. And that's right <laughs> next to the to the Target Pizza Hut. Oh. And before I you imagine know it, they knew their clientele that was interested in Pizza Hut, but also like baseball cards. Yeah, there's like cases coming. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, there's another $40 I'm going to spend on a box of baseball cards and a pepperoni pizza. Oh, my gosh. So, Case, when you go into Jewel to buy your lunch every day, do you buy more then? Or you just are you, do you have self-control and you just buy the thing? Because you're hungry when you get there. This is, this is the thing, is that I'm very unhappy with my body and my weight, but it would be so much worse if I snacked more than I do. I don't have any snacks in my house. The only food I have is for lunch and dinner and then breakfast the next morning. I don't have Chex Mix. I don't have Lay's. I sometimes will get, like, a yogurt to chew on i like Ew. yogurt first off you can't chew on that yeah what are you <laughs> chewing you no no no. i get the m&m yogurt well that's not surprising but that's not healthy then right i didn't say it was healthy i just said it was tasty have like, you listened to anything you've had <laughs> up? do you think his health is his main goal well, i never heard him say yogurt before so i thought oh my god he's trying to get healthy but it's m&m's yogurt or sometimes yeah. i get the gogurt yeah, because oh, you're four. Yeah, because it's awesome. <laughs> I like sucking out of the tube. Somebody, I bet you do. Uh, Kelly checked Mind in. Mind you, your Saturday nights. Uh, <laughs> that's right. Kelly checked in with a conversation on this show for the last week and a half. So would you call Jewel a restaurant? I would because of the chicken. <laughs> I, See, you can't tell me this, chicken that good, fries that good. They're not made in a restaurant. That's restaurant quality. This conversation started with discussions of is Subway a restaurant, which it isn't because there's no waiters or waitresses. It's not a restaurant. It's a sub. It's a sandwich That's shop. That's so hoity-toity. No, it's not. I'm just re- reality. <laughs> That's what it is. You can't call everything a restaurant. Well, Kate's is going to bring his girlfriend to the Target Pizza Hut. So <laughs> As if I haven't already. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she's living good. <laughs> Do they have waiters? She's allowed to walk through the dollar section at Target after and pick yourself out something real busy. nice. <laughs> do, they, do they have waiters and waitresses at the Target Pizza Hut? Oh, they have somebody that serves me my pizza. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Not to your table. Not to your high top. No, in the, uh, the Starbucks bogards the table. They won't let me dine in there. That's the problem. Well, Starbucks that's sh- isn't interested in, your, in you. <laughs> <laughs> they know that you're not the gold client. That's no. correct. <laughs> <laughs> I can't pronounce any of the drinks. I, exactly. Also, Aaron checked in and said, K sounds like he climaxes when he talks about Pizza Hut. I'm just saying... Don't knock it until you try it. The Target Pizza Hut is one of the best things we have in, in Chicagoland. <laughs> it's fantastic. That is, you know all those food blogs and TikTokers for Chicago? Case is going to walk inside Target and be like, this is the hidden gem of the Chicago. <laughs> the Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q101. Brian and Kenzie on Q101. We go to the text line. Always communicate with us at 312-591-8300. Uh, next four hours, we're always here for you with contesting and, of course, just the way we talk, right? So Dodger Boy checked in from 708 and asked the question because we talked about this two days ago at this time, and we came, yesterday didn't really get into it on the show. But he said, good morning, kids. How was the big boss visit? Oh, snap. Did she like Brian's clean desk? Because I, <laughs> I put a video <laughs> The, the local bosses, everybody, they made me throw away all of the prep and the paperwork, which we talked about this time was the OJ headline that I pulled out of that stack from, like, last year. Well, it was just a disaster. It was, I got to admit. And people think I'm not, you know, environmentally good. But I can look, that was from a year. I recycled all that paper. It's all good. It's clean. But the boss didn't walk that direction in. She didn't walk in that way, so she didn't even see the desk to say, oh, wow, what a clean desk, you know? Uh, well, do, you, do you think that you were to get promoted because you were spick and span? <laughs> I just kind of wanted to be there when she walked in and went, ah? 
Uh, because you would have no context for what it looked like previously. You'd be a psycho pointing at your desk. This <gasps> is like when men want, like, in a relationship, they're like, why? It's not like I cheated on you. It's like, oh, I'm sorry, let me give you a gold star for doing what you were supposed to. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, well, I wasn't a pig, and nobody's impressed. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> how creepy would it have been then if I said, like, no, look at my phone. Look how it was before. <laughs> like, she said, like, no, look at all the papers. Look at it. Look, look how it's clean now. how responsible I've been for a year. <laughs> So she asked about that. She asked about uh, Case's clean bonsai tree downtown because Case uh, did a little manscaping before she got here. Thought she thought he was going to check down there. Yeah, I thought she was going to take a peek at that. That's what he was hoping for. He wanted a promotion. Yeah. Um, Case well, wants to be like uh, like an intern that gets taken advantage of, so oh he god, can yeah. work his way up in the ranks. Oh my god, that would be huge for me. That's He's one. like, anyone need me to bend over? I'm like, no, <laughs> Case. No. Who wants a shoulder rub? Like, I feel sexually harassed because Case is trying to get sexually harassed. Yeah. <laughs> By association? Yeah, I'm like, get out. I'm No, I'm not going to do that to you. Oh, man. <laughs> well, something did happen on this uh, visit from our big boss. We had these big meetings. And then, and it was great, by the way. Like our CEO, let's clarify, our CEO like flew in of the whole company. Yeah, president, CEO. She hasn't been here in five years, so it was a very, very big market deal. Yeah. The girl who runs the whole thing is here. This is it, that makes all the decisions. Very important, powerful lady, great lady. (laughs) So we could all ask questions in the meetings as we broke up in the groups, kind of like people that are on the air here. We could ask questions. So I had questions. I, I was, you know, you should always speak up in those situations so the big person knows who you are. Not necessarily like look at my desk, how clean it is, but say something profound and powerful. So, oh, I know who that person is. They work in the company. Yes. That's obviously what you're trying to do. You stuck your nose in there right away. The second she was like, does anybody want it? You're like me. I would like to participate. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'm like, you're tap her, dancing. Let... You're spinning plates. Notice me. Notice me. <laughs> <laughs> I go in there with like a Ray Wing Brothers routine. <laughs> yeah. I have like a, a skeet shooting range set up there in the in the lounge where she was to shoot frisbees well, out of the, the air. Poor lady couldn't even finish her sentence. You're like me. It's like okay, just you, calm down. Who's got a question? Okay, me. I got one, and I had this kind of setup for what I wanted to say, and this was the phrase I wanted to use. I know this is astronomically below your pay grade. That was my intro to my question. Meaning that, hey, this is probably a, a dumb question maybe for you. Maybe I asked my local I love managers. I you were like, let me, let me impress her and ask her something that's probably a dumb question for her. Well, I like the word astronomically. I wanted to work that in somehow. I don't know Everybody why. Everybody has a word they want to throw in as much as possible. Yeah. I, I get it. Everybody's got one. Brian yeah. thought... That he was going to say the word astronomical, she was going to hear it and go, Astronomically. Oh my. Astronomically, I apologize. Please. And I, I did not mean to disrespect you. And I think that he was under the impression that she was going to hear the word and go, Oh my God, we have a scholar right. on our hands. Damn straight. What? Why is he only part of the morning show? He should obviously be like, he should co-run the company <laughs> with me with that kind of vocabulary. Like sort of a goodwill hunting situation? Well, obviously. 100% you're so accurate on that. I know. You're so accurate of what I thought by using the word astronomically mm-hmm. to work it in. Have these things thought out before you go in these meetings, kids. That's what you do when you impress people. Well, because it worked out so well for you. What happened, Brian? So what I said was, <laughs> <laughs> I know this is astro... And then right then, her chair broke. Like she yeah. was sitting in the chair, and it kind of like, she was trying to adjust her chair. Yeah, she, it wasn't even that it broke. She just decided it wasn't comfortable enough and started <laughs> ignoring Brian. So I go, I noticed it's astronomic. I'm like, I broke my whole train of thought. Broke everything. Well, well yeah, she stands that, up and starts switching her chair, and Brian's in the middle of his... She's not listening. No, back is to all. you at this point. Yeah. Back, so back is to me, and I'm trying to decide in that brief split-second moment, should I continue or what? So I start over. Yeah, you you reset <laughs> the sentence. So I know this is ass through that. And it went, and she's adjusting. Then someone got up to help her adjust the chair. Yeah, she switched chairs. And, <laughs> and then Brian said it a third time. I went, up, 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 up. Astronomically. <laughs> it was like at Mars Attacks where they go like, bop, 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 bop. And then finally. I I By the way, I couldn't breathe while this was happening. <laughs> I was laughing so hard because Brian said his lead in sentence three times. Yep. Then I, I, and she didn't acknowledge him on any of the times. No, then I finally just said, I'm going to pull back here and let her get her chair settled in. And then she gets settled in and goes, like, Okay. And I said, Should I do it a fourth? So I know this is asking. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to try it one more time, but and I was like, In my head, I could say it again. I go, I, 
I know this is probably a dumb question. That's what came That's out after that. Up That's what I ended up saying. And then you look like a moron because you say, <laughs> I'm asking a dumb question while you're here for the first time in a long time. Oh. And it's a really important question. So, but... anyways, our show's going to get pulled off air. <laughs> <laughs> it's the last show today <laughs> because you didn't hear the word astronomical properly. <laughs> so, we're really sorry, but this is the last show. <laughs> And that's what happened in the meeting, Dodger boy. Thanks for asking it went about really that. Good. I also spilled a Coke Zero on my button-down shirt oh, right that's before right. I went in. <laughs> I brought a button-down shirt to wear into the meeting and spilled a Coke Zero on it right before we go in. I just have a headache. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bye, everybody. It's Q101. The Brian and Kenzie Show on Q101. The Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q101. Brian and Kenzie on Q101. Coming up in sports, big night. Uh, a Chicago team's in the playoffs. Playoffs? What? Yeah, I know. We'll get to that. <laughs> Plus some more. We had the great audio of the pitcher from the Tampa Bay Rays yesterday. That was the audio of the day, and everybody commented it was the funniest thing I heard all day when he talked about him sucking in the game. There's some more audio today you have to hear. Uh, we'll, we'll, wait, we'll wait for it. Get you to it in sports there. I'll tell you exactly what it is, but it is more. Uh, the sports audio of the day, just the general audio of the day you're going to love. But first, it's Gil Curtis with your headlines. This is not headline news. Taylor Swift's new album comes out today. And her second, third, and fourth versions of it come out Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. <laughs> Dr. Pepper will soon have a coconut flavor available. Just in case you needed another reason not to drink Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Tomorrow is 420 day. Fun fact, William Shakespeare smoked pot. We know this from his famous line, doobie or not doobie? That is the question. Gwen Stefani says she gets insecure about her marriage. But you really can't tell by looking at her because she turned her face into a kabuki mask. And Iggy Pop turned 77 this weekend. Gift idea, he could use a new iron for his skin. This is not headline news. The Brian and Kenzie Show on Q101.